the best way that I've found for installing Rails is actually using VirtualBox. So to do that, you can download VirtualBox first and then download Vagrant. Install VirtualBox first in the download section, so get it for whatever operating system that you're using. The host is the machine that you're currently using. And when that installation is done, then get Vagrant, install that, it's very easy. You can just simply find the one for your distribution, install that, and once that is done, then you can easily set up your Rails virtual machine. So the one you need to look for is this one. It's called Rails MN DevBox. So I'm going to grab that back in the terminal. I'm going to come out of that, go to my desktop of my local machine make a directory called new rails app go in there and then I'm just gonna clone it takes a second to clone then I will go to that folder and then I do background up so now it took it a while to actually finish the installation first let's let's um, look into the configuration file for Vagrant and just set up this port forwarding so we can see the Rails app running on uh, our own uh, browser. Now you can easily actually see a SSH into the virtual machine and once you're connected to it, right there you can in your home directory you can make your uh, new Rails application. So let's just call it um, our app and just have it work with my SQL. And once that's done, let's go to the app folder. We can just create the database just like that. So once that's done, you can run the server and then go to the browser and you'll see the app running. 